Tears of the Kingdom got ripped apart by glitch hunters just weeks after launch. People found ways to duplicate weapons and materials, clip out of bounds, fly, the list goes on. A lot of videos were made just to point out how broken the game was, which didn't go unnoticed by Nintendo. There have been quite a few updates to fix most of the game breaking glitches and supposedly improve the gameplay experience. In this video, I'll go over how these updates have affected Tears of the Kingdom speedruns, because different versions have pros and cons that make them better or worse depending on the goal of the category. But first, I'm going to address one of the major concerns I've seen from viewers, speedrunning on older versions. The leaderboard for Tears of the Kingdom is split up by version. You can find it over at speedrun.com TOTK, where you'll see that each category has two tabs, pre v1.2.1 and v1.2.1 latest. So if you think that using older versions of the game is cheating or less interesting, you can see what kind of times are possible on the latest version of the game by checking here. It's true that for Switch games, downpatching isn't as easy as it is on PC, but with how uncertain updates are, it makes sense to keep separate leaderboards so that people can speedrun the game without having to worry about the whole route getting thrown out randomly. So far, this game has had six different versions. 1.0, 1.1, 1.1.1, 1.1.2, 1.2.1, 1.2.2, 1.2.3, 1.2.4, 1.2.5, 1.2.6, 1.2.7, 1.2.8, 1.2.9, 1.2.10, 1.2.11, 1.2.12, 1.2.13, 1.2.14, 1.2.15, 1.2.16, 1.2.17, 1.2.18, 1.2.19, 1.2.20, 1.2.21, 1.2.22, 1.2.23, 1.2.24, 1.2.25, 1.2.26, 1.2.27, 1.2.28, 1.2.29, 1.2.30, 1.2.31, 1.2.32, 1.2.33, 1.2.34, 1.2.35, 1.2.36, 1.2.37, 1.2.38, 1.2.39, 1.2.40, 1.2.41, 1.2.42, 1.2.43, 1.2.44, 1.2.45, 1.2.46, 1.2.47, 1.2.48, 1.2.49, 1.2.50, 1.2.51, 1.2.52, 1.2.53, 1.2.54, 1.2.55, 1.2.56, 1.2.57, 1.2.58, 1.2.59, 1.2.60, 1.2.61, 1.2.62, 1.2.63, 1.2.64, 1.2.65, 1.2.66, 1.2.67, 1.2.68, 1.2.69, 1.2.70, 1.2.71, 1.2.72, 1.2.73, 1.2.74, 1.2.75, 1.2.76, 1.2.77, 1.2.78, 1.2.79, 1.2.80, 1.2.81, 1.2.82, 1.2.83, 1.2.84, 1.2.85, 1.2.86, 1.2.87, 1.2.88, 1.2.89, 1.2.90, 1.2.91, 1.2.92, 1.2.93, 1.2.94, 1.2.95, 1.2.96, 1.2.97, 1.2.98, 1.2.99, 1.2.10, 1.2.11, 1.2.12, 1.2.13, 1.2.14, 1.2.15, 1.2.16, 1.2.17, 1.2.18, 1.2.19, 1.2.20, 1.2.21, 1.2.22, 1.2.23, 1.2.24, 1.2.25, 1.2.26, 1.2.27, 1.2.28, 1.2.29, 1.2.30, 1.2.31, 1.2.32, 1.2.33, 1.2.34, 1.2.35, 1.2.36, 1.2.37, 1.2.38, 1.2.39, 1.2.40, 1.2.41, 1.2.42, 1.2.43, 1.2.44, 1.2.45, 1.2.46, 1.2.47, 1.2.48, 1.2.49, 1.2.50, 1.2.51, 1.2.52, 1.2.53, 1.2.54, 1.2.55, 1.2.56, 1.2.57, 1.2.58, 1.2.59, 1.2.60, 1.2.61, 1.2.62, 1.2.63, 1.2.64, 1.2.65, 1.2.66, 1.2.67, 1.2.68, 1.2.69, 1.2.70, 1.2.71, 1.2.72, 1.2.73, 1.2.74, 1.2.75, 1.2.76, 1.2.77, 1.2.78, 1.2.79, 1.2.80, 1.2.81, 1.2.82, 1.2.83, 1.2.84, 1.2.85, 1.2.86, 1.2.87, 1.2.88, 1.2.89, 1.2.90, 1.2.91, 1.2.92, 1.2.93, 1.2.94, 1.2.95, 1.2.96, 1.2.97, 1.2.98, 1.2.99, 1.2.100, 1.2.101, 1.2.102, 1.2.103, 1.2.104, 1.2.105, 1.2.106, 1.2.107, 1.2.108, 1.2.109, 1.2.110, 1.2.111, 1.2.112, 1.2.113, 1.2.114, 1.2.115, 1.2.116, 1.2.117, 1.2.118, 1.2.119, 1.2.120, 1.2.121, 1.2.122, 1.2.123, 1.2.124, 1.2.125, 1.2.126, 1.2.127, 1.2.128, 1.2.129, 1.2.130, 1.2.131, 1.2.132, 1.2.133, 1.2.134, 1.2.135, 1.2.136, 1.2.137, 1.2.138, 1.2.139, 1.2.140, 1.2.141, 1.2.142, 1.2.143, 1.2.144, 1.2.145, 1.2.146, 1.2.147, 1.2.148, 1.2.149, 1.2.150, 1.2.151, 1.2.152, 1.2.153, 1.2.154, 1.2.155, 1.2.156, 1.2.157, 1.2.158, 1.2.159, 1.2.160, 1.2.170, 1.2.171, 1.2.172, 1.2.173, 1.2.174, 1.2.175, 1.2.176, 1.2.177, 1.2.178, 1.2.179, 1.2.180, 1.2.181, 1.2.182, 1.2.183, 1.2.184, 1.2.185, 1.2.186, 1.2.187, 1.2.188, 1.2.189, 1.2.190, 1.2.191, 1.2.192, 1.2.193, 1.2.194, 1.2.195, 1.2.196, 1.2.197, 1.2.198, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199, 1.2.199,
but as great as 1.0 is, it's not the fastest for every category and you'll see why in just a bit. First, here are some fun minor differences and quirks of 1.0. Duplication is a huge part of Tears of the Kingdom speedruns, and bomb jumping is incredibly useful for getting extra height or momentum, so naturally, we duplicate a lot of bombs. But on 1.0, this is harder because of the way the materials stack up when you drop multiple at the same time. Later versions spread them out, whereas 1.0 stacks them up, which can very easily cause them to explode. This repeated aerial jump slash movement works better on 1.0 because they increase the amount of time you have to wait before being able to cancel a jump slash in later versions. It's not a deal breaker for speedruns for the most part, but there are a couple sections that are easier on 1.0, especially when you don't have the paraglider. Almost every single glitch from Breath of the Wild was eradicated, except for infinite horse stamina, which also only works on 1.0. But it turns out, Skew came back in a slightly different form. Instead of clipping Link through walls with that familiar flickback, Skew can be stored and used to launch Link at an angle when using a bomb jump or similar shield fusion. It's not nearly as useful, but it's a nice throwback, and of course didn't make it to later versions. If you go from the Great Sky Island straight to the depths without touching the surface, then you won't be able to warp back up because the game can't handle the missing surface map. I first ran into this back when auto build was used in any percent, but it wasn't really an issue because any percent doesn't need to warp back up. If you were to run all dungeons on 1.0, you would want to make sure to land on the surface to get the map before getting auto build in the depths. It was fixed in 1.1. If you thought Gibdos weren't terrifying enough, 1.0 has you covered. Here's what the Gibdo phase of the army looks like on 1.0 compared to 1.2.1. In playtesting, they must have decided they were too scary and slowed them down, which actually makes it easier to kill all of them in a single gem explosion on later versions. And finally, there's weird loading shenanigans, because of course there is. After the second to last hit of the demon dragon fight, there will be an 8 second black screen before loading into the cinematic final slash. It's really obvious, it's not intended if you listen to the music, and it loses a fair chunk of time. Luckily, this only happens if Link is standing on the dragon's head during the transition, so we can avoid it by doing a blade beam while jumping backwards, or backflipping after the final hit. Again, this is only a concern on 1.0. Now let's talk about the first two updates. Versions 1.1 and 1.1.1 are basically indistinguishable. 1.1.1 happened a week after launch, and the only thing that was fixed according to the patch notes was a bug with the closed door main quest that caused some players to not be able to complete it. These versions are the reason I wanted to make this video in the first place, because although they're slower than 1.0 for any percent and 100%, Every other mainboard category is currently fastest in 1.1 or 1.1.1, and it's all thanks to auto build cancel slides. Auto build cancel is a glitch that allows Link to create an auto build blueprint that exists when the ability is not active. The blueprint will always try to stay a certain distance away from Link, like it would when he's actually using the ability, which leads to some really useful side effects like the auto build cancel slide. By building a structure with wings, and using Ultra Hand to bring it close enough for Link to run onto it, you can fly really fast, because the game is constantly trying to push it away from Link. As you can probably guess, this is perfect for speedruns that need to travel long distances, like all dungeons, where the temples are spread across the map. But it's not like 1.0 doesn't have ABCS. So what's the big deal? Auto build cancel slides move significantly faster on 1.1 and 1.1.1, than they do on 1.0. Here's a slide from the Great Sky Island to Lookout Landing. Now here's that same slide on 1.0. The wing build is different because the angled version from 1.1 doesn't really work on 1.0. It's so much slower and it's difficult to gain height, which isn't a problem at all on 1.1. It's enough of a difference that despite having to constantly replace pocket rockets, no intro out of balance, and worse suggling, it's still worth it for most longer categories. 
Next up is 1.1.2. This patch happened two weeks after launch. It was the first patch to actually target major glitches that the community had found. Which was a lot. Things like sort duplication, map suggling, and auto build cancels were patched which had a huge impact on speedruns. This is when the community voted to split up the leaderboards, and 1.1.2 had a pretty different any percent route for a bit that used springs to clip out of bounds before jump slash cancel clipping was found, which was a lot faster and worked for all versions. There were also new duplication glitches found that weren't as fast, but still saved a lot of time. It's kind of neat to see how duplication is present in every version, but the method used is different. Right now, this is probably the least popular patch for speedrunning Tears of the Kingdom. It doesn't have the broken glitches that the earlier patches have, and it isn't the latest version, so it's an awkward in-between that's hard to get access to and isn't the fastest for any category. That being said, every patch has a leaderboard if you use the version filter, and there are people who still actively run 1.1.2 and create some awesome routes, using tricks that you won't see elsewhere because they're outclassed by glitches like auto build cancel slides. It's always fun when new glitches are introduced when trying to patch old ones, and that's exactly what happened with 1.2. This patch happened over a month after 1.1.2 and introduced Quick Smuggle while patching out the ability menu animation cancel that runners were using to perform jump slash cancel clips. It's a glitch that's incredibly easy to do and has some really cool effects, like allowing Link to fly across the map with Arrow's Muggle Flight and infinitely bounce on a bomb shield. Quick Smuggle also brought back the jump slash cancel clip, just with a slightly different method that relies on Arrow Smuggle. Arrow Smuggle is possible on other versions and is actually being used in 1.0 speedruns now, but the setup on 1.2 is quite a bit faster, which makes it perfect for Great Sky Island speedruns. Great Sky Island Any% percent is a category extension, which means you can find the leaderboard over at speedrun.com slash TOTKCE, and the goal is to complete the tutorial island as fast as possible, which is currently done on 1.2. Timing doesn't include the intro, and not having to fight Ganondorf and his army means that the lack of intro clip, fast duplication, and suggle isn't as much of an issue. And that brings us to the latest version, 1.2.1. This patch also took a while, but quick smuggling was patched, and midair throw duplication, which was used in 1.2, was changed slightly, but still works. After its release, there was a period of inactivity because the people who had been trying to run current patch were tired of new updates completely changing the run with no indication of when it would stabilize. For about two months, there was only one run on the any percent leaderboard by Rulander. And to add insult to injury, the fastest any percent route currently available is extremely frustrating to do. There's a way to recreate the ceiling clips from earlier versions, but canceling a jump slash is frame perfect, so in order to get out of bounds, it requires chaining multiple of these tricks together. It's almost the same run as before, but with some of the movement glitches removed and a couple of sections that are a lot harder to do consistently. And that's at least partially why I started running glitchless. It's a category that isn't affected by patches and shows off a lot of cool routing that unrestricted runs skip past like the big boss rush at the end. I made a whole video explaining the run, so I'll link that in the description if you want to learn more. But recently, there's been a resurgence in popularity for current patch any% percent because of a new route that's not as fast as the frame perfect jump slash cancels, but is more consistent. It requires getting eaten by a like like while mounting a steering stick to set up arrow smuggle for more consistent clips at the cost of a pretty significant detour. Sebauer has been achieved using the new route, so keep an eye out for more developments. And the game has only been out for 7 months. It feels like it's been forever given how much speedruns have developed, but there's still so much potential for future breakthroughs and time saves. Who knows, maybe current patch will end up the fastest version and will be saved from the accessibility issues of switch down patching.
but that's all I have for you on version differences. I'm hopeful that 1.2.1 is the last update the game will receive, and everything will become a lot more certain for current patch. It's been 4 months since 1.2.1 was released, and as much as I'd like to see DLC for this game, I don't think that's going to happen given Aonuma's response in interviews. If you found this video interesting, be sure to like and subscribe, and if there's anything I missed, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below.